What's up, YouTube? My name is Jason, and this is my take. Hope you guys had a great Christmas, and we're, we're almost in the new year in 2022. I'm excited to bring it in with you guys, and this week I got this review and another coming to end off the year. And today I want to start a new segment for something I want to take into 2022, and that's local artist album reviews. And today specifically, we're going to be talking about the new Rock Kelly album, Warzone. Now, Rock Kelly is a rapper songwriter out of Washington, D.C. And I actually have a connection with him as we both attended NC State University in Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, I don't know if he was class of 2018 like myself, but he was somebody that I saw around campus. And while we didn't personally know each other, we did cross paths a few times. I actually recently discovered that he made music and he actually reached out to me about you know, this project and wanted me to do a review for it. And it, it really excited me because this guy makes dope music, man. And I definitely want to showcase local artists on this page along with the bigger mainstream artists that I already do. So look, man, let's just dive right into it, man. Rock Kelly, Warzone. I was thoroughly impressed by this project because on this project, Rock Kelly is really talking about the struggle that came with him, you know, growing up in the tougher parts of DC, um, things that he and others have faced. Um, and, you know, Warzone is is how he talks about it. it. It felt like a war zone, even as the album opened with like a news clip talking about shootings that were going on. This project comes with a lot of passion, a lot of emotion, a lot of sadness, a lot of just being tired of living this way and seeing others experiencing this. And man, the way that Rock Kelly just paints the picture of, of all of this is something to behold. Um, so vivid, it really takes you there, really puts you there. Um, and, you know, that's that's something that a lot of people can't do. So look, man, let's dive into the highlights on this track list, man. Let, let's start with the opener, the title track, Warzone. Because like I said before, you know, this song beautifully set the stage for what we're getting into and the theme of this project. What Rock saw growing up in D.C. and still sees feels like a war zone from people constantly struggling and even dying. I love how he opened up with his verse playing into this theme of Warzone when he says, but I'm a soldier, I'm gonna fight back until it's over. I know what, what this area is. I know, you know what happens here, but I'm here to fight back. One thing that really stuck out to me on the production was just how beautiful the keys were, but also that saxophone that comes in when the song opens. By far, my favorite song on this project was the song, How Many More. I love the violin and the string sections that are in the production. And just staying on the production, this track absolutely knocks, especially in my car, man. And it's such a simple piano pattern, but when the drums and 808s that come along with it, this makes everything hit so hard. And in this song, Rock is simply asking, how many more? How many more people have to die and suffer through these conditions before something just turns around? You know, it just seems like an endless cycle of death and defeat. And you can really hear it in Rob's voice on the song. Another highlight for me was the song Gotham, 100 Years. I love the line where he says, my city like Gotham, dark nights got us robbing. We ain't messing with you jokers. I love how he played into that Batman theme. And the comparison to Gotham I thought was really dope. You know, in that the killing and the robbing and crime that takes place here just feels normal. And, and it seems like it'll take 100 years to, to stop it. Easily the most emotional track on this project, in my opinion, is the song Letter to DC Part 3. Rock is just reflecting on his life in DC, from the mistakes he made to fighting his way through. Because one thing that I caught and, and learned in this is Rock is kind of saying, being from this type of environment, you know, the only way you're going to make it is by fighting through it. You you have to be a fighter and persevere through it. I also love how Rock ended this album with the song Welcome Home, Rock on the Ave. And I think flow-wise, this was his best on this song. He had really dope stretches of just like nice lines along with the delivery. Specifically this part where he says, Love your kids on IG, but you ain't raising them children. They're getting raised by the system and getting played by the system. Ops waiting to kill him. How we delivered that part was just really dope. And, and just speaking to how we just see so many black kids dying so young 
and it just seems like a normal cycle that has no end in sight. And I just love how Rock painted that picture on this song and throughout the album. Now, this album was only seven tracks and he really delivered. I will say probably the only track that um, didn't do much for me was the song Damaged. And I hate that that's the case because there's so many strengths on this album. And I think that on a song like Damage, you really feel Rock's emotion and his passion. But on this song in particular, his singing on it just felt a little overwhelming and turned me off compared to the other songs because Rock does do a mixture of rapping and singing and how he delivers in his cadences. But on this song, it just felt a little too much for me and, and, and wasn't my favorite in terms of how he delivers from a singing perspective. But look, overall, Rock Kelly is an artist that you guys need to tap into. He's vivid with his pen and he lays it all out on every single track. Now, I'm not saying that Rock is doing anything super unique or, or anything that is brand new from a production and sound perspective, but his raw emotion and passion just keeps you hooked on every track. And to me personally, that's the best type of music. The, the stuff that keep you invested and engaged throughout. And honestly, I'm just excited to see what, what he does next because in my opinion, he's right where he's supposed to be. And that's making music and telling these stories and, and giving these perspectives that a lot of people may not have. So guys, definitely check out this project. I highly suggest it. Um, I'm gonna give this project a seven out of 10. So what were your guys' thoughts on this new Rock Kelly project? What were your favorite tracks? Did you love it? Did you hate it? So have a conversation down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I want to, you know, start a segment where I do these local artist reviews and really be able to showcase, you know, are the artists that a lot of people may not have heard of, um, but you should hear of. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jason. This has been my review. I'll see you next time.